Hi everybody, it's Lisa. I'm back with another journal that I've made. It's been a while. This was a little practice run. It's a journal for myself, a Scottish themed journal. And I have used the Tripping Through Time digital collection, which you can buy on Etsy. And it's from Ivy Shutters. It is very much an Outlander themed digital kit if you're a fan of Outlander which I am I absolutely love it um, but there are a few pages that you can use and specifically for Scottish projects um, I have used the cinch to bind this rather than making a hard or soft cover and sewing in the signatures because I wanted it to be mobile wanted it to be thin to be like a notebook um, as you can see, it's not very thin, um, but I, I, mm, I used the cinch, the We Are Memory Keeper cinch, and you will find tons of videos on YouTube telling you how easy it is to use a cinch, how quick it is, and expensive. It's brilliant. It's a fantastic piece of kit. Um, I could do a whole video on how rubbish I think the cinch is and how difficult I think it is. I don't really like it, but I wanted to get my money's worth out of it. And I'm going to have a quick rant about these. These are the wire cutters that you buy specifically from We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, these are rubbish. They don't, I cannot get them to cut wire. I have seen people on YouTube use these to cut wire. I've tried, I can't get it to work. So if I'm doing something wrong, well, clearly I must be doing something wrong. Um, I use an old pair of scissors to cut the wire, which is scissors that I use specifically for cutting um, adhesive tape because you would blunt your good scissors if you used it for that kind of thing. So I've got an old pair of scissors and I use that to cut the wire. And then I just use the um, wire cutters to bend it and make it a little better. You will hear my dogs barking. Somebody must be walking past. Um, but for this, I have put, um, this is Gaelic and it means Scotland forever. As you know, I'm very proud to be Scottish, so I wanted to put that in here. It means a lot to me, but the Scotland Forever also has another significance. When me and my husband got married, his kilt that he chose to wear, rather than a clan tartan, he chose to wear the Scotland Forever tartan, which is this tartan. So it has a lot of significance. But anyway, um, I thought that was a nice touch and I used the Ivy Shutters page, beautiful thistle. It was very well distressed anyway, but I've gone round it again. I've used my sewing machine for the first time to sew it onto the card and make a border. And this is washi tape down here, just which is glued on just to strengthen uh, the book board. On the back, it's just plain. This was an old book that I used specifically for pressing flowers. Um, here, I've kept it simple, wanted to be able to use it, to chuck it in my bag when we go camping or go trips or when I go to Edinburgh on the train for the day. I go to Edinburgh quite a lot for meetings at work, so I wanted to be able to take it with me. But what I've done is, I have made, I suppose you would call it a cluster of fabrics, lace, ribbon, and I've topped it off with a little Celtic brooch. And I know it's Celtic because it has the little Celtic knots. Got this in a charity shop. It would have been an old lady's treasured brooch, would have eventually ended up in a charity shop. But I'm just really glad I was able to make use of it. And here I have just layered pieces of Scottish lace, um, tartan ribbon, lilac ribbon, some cheesecloth, 
some gauze and at the back I have added in some Harris Tweed. Harris Tweed is very famous throughout the world and it's very popular. Um, it is hand woven still to this day, hand woven on some of the Scottish islands and it's called Harris Tweed. And there I got this gifted to me by a lady called Alice from Glasgow and she makes beautiful Harris Tweed products um, and I had purchased some from her so I asked her if she had any scraps could I buy them from her and she said don't be daft they're not any use to me I'll just gather them up and send you them so I've used quite a lot of them and I think they look beautiful in this little cluster so I'm really chuffed with that and here this is just heart and scrapbook paper but it's backed with a Christmas themed paper so it's a Christmas design but I thought it looked nice inside the book and here I've just made a little library pocket made a little cluster and I've used a vintage button gifted by my friend Gail and here is the thistle again and you will all recognize this were you all singing that on Hogmanay when the bells went at midnight were you singing this song so I thought that would be really nice to put in here and here I'm really chuffed with this I always like to do this little corner pocket but um, I just loved how it's layered I layered it with some really thick crocheted lace which was gifted by my friend and tartan ribbon uh, thinner lace cheesecloth eyelash trim and a little stamping up embellishment and I love how that's turned out I took inspiration from Moira MacDonald she's a lovely Scottish lady who makes journals and cards and um, she's given me some advice about layering up tags so this one's topped off with a little metal butterfly so I really like that and on this page Missy's always right my one of my boys actually gave me a mug that said Missy's always right and I can't argue I just can't argue Anybody that knows me would probably say that about me, especially my husband. So I've cut out a bit of the box and made it into a pocket and I've put a little tag which I have stenciled and coloured in with Copic markers. This is some artificial purple heather and I've used the Scotland Forever bow there. And this, I'll put some Christmas pictures and things in this. And this is a little flip. I've not finished it, that's why it's clipped there. Um, but I'll do that as I go along. This is a little beautiful Christmas card from my friend, Gail. Um, Gail, I'm sorry, I didn't send you a Christmas card. I'm so sorry, but you know that your card is tr treasured. So um, I need to do better next year. And I've made it into a little pocket. And this was a little tag that Gail sent me when she sent me a beautiful box of goodies. And here I have a little thistle stamp. This is the area I live. And this is called the Clyde Coast. Here is the Firth of Clyde. And... I live round about here. It's a beautiful area. Directly across the water is the Isle of Arran. It is gorgeous. So we do live on a beautiful area. This is an old, a, um, an old AE road map, which I've used. And when it's not raining, it's beautiful. And this is a little Christmas card which my son made at school and I've turned it into a little pocket here. And this is one of his pictures. The two people in this picture look very surprised. 
and this is just a little plastic pocket and I've popped in bits and pieces from Christmas that I want to use in my journal. And here is another one of those pockets. I really love that. I think I might just continue doing that in my journals, that kind of style. And this forever tag and it's just some lace and a doily. So I really like that. And this is a little paper clip with a thistle charm. And I've just stenciled this envelope, used some stickles and I've put some Harris Tweed along here, sewn it on and attached a little thistle charm. And on the back side I've decoupaged the little butterfly, so I really like that. And I've just put some tags in. I do have, I made a little tag out of this. This is a little clover which I picked at some grass in Edinburgh. It was just filled with clover and I picked one of them and I pressed it into my book and I backed it with some tea dyed paper. And this is a Christmas card from our First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon. She is a wonderful lady. And this is Winnie Ewing, who's on the card with her. And not handwritten I must say <laughs> mash produced probably and uh, there's some garlic there as well and a little bit about Winnie Ewing they're celebrating her the 50th anniversary of her historic win in Scotland and years ago when the Scottish Parliament was built and oh, well not when it was built it was before it was built the they, um met in a, a different building uh, but part of the opening ceremony when he was involved in and her words were the Scottish Parliament which adjourned on March 25th 1707 is hereby reconvened and that was just wonderful because we had fought to get our own Parliament in Scotland. Since then the Parliament building has a uh, finished and if you're ever in Edinburgh I would really recommend you go on a tour um, and go on the actual tour with the guide um, and they tell you all about the architecture um, and it is really good and um, makes you feel very proud. So that is that. And this is a piece of tartan scrapbook paper which is Christmas themed on the back and this is some Scottish heather, purple heather which has been pressed into a book and decoupaged on. And I'm always picking up old things, old postcards, old photographs. This is St Mary's Church on Iona and that's really old. This is nearby. This is the Firth of Clyde from the Haley Bray and Largs. So that's close to where I live. And this picture actually doesn't do the view justice because it is far more spectacular than what is portrayed in this picture. And we even have some palm trees in Largs. Yes. This is a Christmas card which was sent to me by my friend Hamish and his wife. That's a good Scottish name for you. So I, I really liked it, so I've put it in. This is Colleen Castle in Ayrshire and we do visit Colleen quite a lot. It's owned by the National Trust and it is absolutely beautiful. It really is as beautiful as this. And when you go up to the back wall here, you and look over to the water you will see the most beautiful views of the Isle of Arran and actually part of Outlander was filmed in I think it was called Dunyur Harbour which is just along the coastline a little bit from Killeen Castle and we actually when we drove past we saw um we did we didn't see the filming because I was working that day but uh, 
yeah, a really proud moment that Outlander was filmed in Ayrshire, well, parts of Outlander, and it was the harbour scene, I think, when they were heading off to America. That was um, the bit that was filmed there. And this is tripping through time. Here I've put a little pocket with some Harris tweed and some tartan, some cheesecloth and a key. And I've even used the fibres which I've taken out of the tweed so I haven't wasted anything. This is a tripping through time tag and I've just sewn around the edges. And this is a little tag which I've stenciled with a thistle and coloured in. And this is a little old envelope, a vintage envelope, um, which I bought from a lot on eBay. And it, it's not Scottish, but it is very precious. And it was letters, postcards and old envelopes from, I take it it must have been pen pals. It's from somebody in Germany writing to somebody in England and it was like something like the 1940s, 50s and 60s so that that's really precious. Here's another thistle and this is some antique Scottish linen and I've backed it with some cheesecloth and some crocheted fabric. Well this is crochet from an old table runner and here I've got a scrapbooking page made into a pocket. <coughs> Sorry, I've got the hiccups now. And a couple of tags which I've backed onto tea dyed paper. And here I put in another little card which means a lot to me. And another little thistle. And a hidden journaling spot there with a couple of the tripping through time cards and I've just done that layering effect again with blue Harris tweed, some ribbon, some fibres, so I really like that style and I've got a little butterfly here and this is a a castle. I'm not sure which one. I can't really see it very clearly. It could be Edinburgh. And this is another tripping through time page. And isn't this lovely? I do actually have a tartan coat that is very similar to this. And this is an old postcard. It was part of a lot that I bought on eBay. It's a I don't actually think it's Scottish but I thought it went really well and it is vintage and some of them were really old. Some of them went back to the early 1900s. And some tea dyed paper. I like the way that page turned out. And this is an envelope from some Happy Mail that I was sent from one of the ladies in one of the a journaling groups on Facebook. And it was just a complete random act of kindness. Um, and it came all the way from India and she beautiful beautiful writing and I've put in the letter and some of the stuff that she sent me and here is a little pocket and it's just some trim and a little 3d butterfly there and another little card which I've sewn on some backing paper and here is a little envelope with a tag which has been stenciled and coloured in. So it gives it some nice texture without making it too bulky. And here is the other page of the old line, old Lang Syne music paper. We'll tack a couple kindness. And this is from the tripping through time and it's a song about Bonnie Prince Charlie and those of you who are fans of Outlander will know all about the Battle of Culloden 
and this is an envelope which I've decoupaged or a piece of napkin and I've went round it with stickles. And just some tea dye paper and here is a unicorn page and the unicorn is actually Scotland's national animal. How cool is that? And that is it. I've even got reference to Iron Brew here. I think I must have missed that page. Iron Brew is Scotland's other national drink, just in case I've missed it. There's a little page in here. Um, and it's a quote from Billy Connolly. And on the other side is a quote from Ian Rankin, the Scottish crime writer. So there you go. I hope you like it. I absolutely love it. It is a little bit too chunky for me to take out and about, but I'll just remove some of the chunky tags. When you hold it like that, you can see exactly where it's bulky. You know, this key is one of them. So anyway, I hope you like it. I really enjoyed making it. I didn't enjoy using the cinch. Um, but it was nice to actually create like a real junk journal. The ones I make for other people are much neater than this. So this is just filled with things that are precious to me. So I'm going to really enjoy putting some photographs in and some memories in. I've already been gathering up a lot of stuff here. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll say cheerio until the next time.